Hello everybody and welcome back. My name of course is Resonant and welcome to another video. Now many of you will remember, quite a while ago I started a let's play on this game. I did a mod spotlight for it and I did a let's play that started but I ended it because so many updates were coming out and it kept deleting my saves over and over again. But the mod developer got in contact with me and said, hey, we had a lot of updates, can you come back and check the mod out? and see what has changed. So that exactly is what I'm going to do. Welcome to Sands of Faith version 1.9 and this video is about what has changed in Sands of Faith. This is going to be a bit of a second first impressions of the mod. This is going to be my first impressions of this update. And as you can see they have this um, really nice new screen which is a moving screen which I haven't seen in a mod in Mountain Blade yet. Which is really really nice to see. So let's go on a new crusade. Now obviously there's this thing where you can start as a king, lord and adventurer again. So that's going to be interesting to see. I think I'm going to start as a lord. And we're going to go to the Knight's Hostipula. Dell's Falls! Yes, what he said. That's going to be our name. Okay, so let's, let's just do our normal skills. This is normal Mountain Blade skills. And we do have foraging there, which is interesting. Allows a party to forage for five po food per skill level. Okay. Get that up. I want to see what kind of stuff that does. Let's get into it. So here I am. And I have my knights and my knight hospital. And this is the map. Uh, I can't actually really remember the map before. I'm not completely sure if it's changed or if it hasn't changed. It was a long, long time ago. But it's a very nice looking map, if you say so myself. As a lord of a thief, you can now appoint a constable who resides in your court for a weekly salary of 15 denars. He will recruit new troops and provide information about your army. Let's do it. Your constable can be found at your court. You should consult him if you want to recruit new troops and get detailed information about your standing army. Okay. So, uh, let's go to my court, I guess. You, as you approach, you are spotted by the castle guards, who welcome you and open the gate for their lord. So, um... Let's go to the lord's hall. It is a very nice looking mod, if you ask me. I was just checking if I've got all my settings on the highest. It is a very nice looking mod. They've had um, some lots of new graphics upgrades, which I think is really nice. So... What, how can we recruit more troops then? How goes the war? Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Is there a way to recruit more troops here? Look at the armory. Okay, so we don't actually currently have anything in the armory. Um, talk about patrols and troop movement. Um, I want to enlist a patrol. Currently there are no fresh troops available. You have to wait six days. Okay, that'll be why. So, um, let's go back. Let's go and see what kind of stuff we can get our hands on. Let's head over here. Recruit villages. Four hospitaler armed pilgrims want to follow you. So they're armed pilgrims. Oh, so they're decent. They're, not, they're, they're better than like regular recruits that you find in Mountain Blade, which is nice to see. It's really nice to see. Let's go over and let's find some more guys. Actually, first, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's have a look in the courtyard, see how the modeling in this mod has changed. So this seems to be a very barren castle. There isn't too many buildings, there aren't too many things in it at the moment, but this actually kind of fits the place that we're at. It really actually does fit it quite nicely. Is there a way we can get up onto the walls? Yes, there is. Let's go and let's go and get up onto the walls and see what we can see from there. But I look absolutely epic. Look at that. So we have a lance here, and uh, yeah, like I said before in my let's play, look at the waving lances. It's like the nicest thing ever. Um, I've got my sword, and I've got my shield. Let's get up onto the walls and see what the kind of scenery around here is like. Hello, armed pilgrim. How are you? Yes, my lord. How goes the watch, sir? All is quiet, my lord. Nothing to report. Right. You are seer. Lady seer? Probably. Right, let's find where that is then. Where is Laodicea? It's over here. Let's head over here and let's see if we can take part in said tournament. Join the tournament. 
instructions. Um, is there anything to do with it? No, okay. Change tournament options. Ooh, wager, bid. By settling this slider, you will automatically place the appropriate bet amount every round of a tournament if you have enough money to do so. This works for the player only. Let's do a hundred. Let's let's do it. Let's let's put the difficulty down to normal. Uh, <laughs> just because I I don't want to I don't want to die too easily. Individual options always randomize equipment. Never spawn this character. Um, what does this mean? With this enabled, select a character will keep the chosen to join. Will never be chosen to join the tournament to keep out companions that are not meant to be fighters. Okay, uh, weapon choices. Okay, weapon choices. This allows you to have experience closer to native gameplay. No, we don't. We don't want weapon choices. I'd rather have two-handed weapon and one-handed with a shield. Yeah, that's gonna be. And uh, horse. And uh, we already have three options. Oh, I'll have better armor. Right. Okay. Let's fight in the next round. Here we go. So we've got one-handed. Oh, look at this. Look how nice this looks. The atmosphere. Right. So we have Owen on my team over here. Let's go and take this dude out. Oh, he's on my team. Okay. We've got another dude called Hugh as well. Look at the dust being sprayed up by the horses. Look how nice that looks. Nice. Another one coming in. Let me quickly just go offline on Steam. We don't want anything interfering with us. Right, let's go and take these guys out. Out. Oh, did I just shield bash him? I shield bashed him. You can shield bash. If you hold right click and left click, you shield bash. That is so cool. Oh, I've... Oh. I've got a, I've got a 2 handed sword as well. Nice. Come on then, mate. Let's, let's do this once and for all. Come back here. I will deal with you. Stop running away. Out, that was terrible. I need to get some throwing weapons. Tournament javelin, tournament javelin's right. Let's wait till he gets a tiny bit closer. Come on, mate, kill his horse. Kill his horse, that's what you need to do. Oh, he's stuck. Try and cut him off, try and cut him off. Nice. Nice! And he is now right. Look how cool I look when I'm running. I'm all hunched over, ready to get into battle. Torment rewards. It's annoying when they have horses and I don't, because it means I really just can't catch up with them. See, I pressed it. I pressed it. This is racist. Yeah, that's what you get, mate. That is what you get. Right, who can we take out next? Um, Okay. It's one on each team, apparently. But it looks like there's more yellow. I don't know. They look like yellow. I'm, I'm really confused. Ow. Yeah, nice job, mate. Let's kill this last one. Let's kill this last one. Okay, apparently yellow team has two now. Actually, that just might be kills. Yeah, I think that's kills. Ow, he chambered me. A duel to the death. And death won. Is that the last round? No, apparently not. Apparently there are more rounds than that, which is a bit weird. Right, let's kill this. Wait, mate. No. Oh, at least there's a horse for me. Block. Out. I blocked that. I blocked that. <sighs> Let's take these guys. Let's take them on. Let's take them on. Surrender or die. So, change commander. Choose who to join you in the battle. Plan your battle with the enemies. Take the field. Lead your group. 
I'm not sure what these two are. Let's just charge the enemy. So I guess charge the enemy is just instantly everyone just charges. Or not. Right, anyway, let's charge anyway. Okay, speaking strange languages, I don't like it. So, this is actually a very nice looking map. It really suits the um, place and time period. And look at the dust being thrown up by all my cavalry. Wow, that is, that's impressive. And camel riders, you gotta love the camel riders. The music playing. It's good music, this. Oh, watch out, they've got lances. They've got lances, guys. Who's gonna be the first? Oh, nice. Oh, I broke my lance. Wow, that, that's a cool addition. If you uh, charge in and you couch lance, your lance breaks. Which is, as I, um, if I'm correct, is actually what used to kind of happen um, a lot of the time. Your lance would easily break, and I just hit my own guy. Sorry about that. Mate, your lance is broken. Get your sword out. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Kill him. Take him down. Kill his camel. Kill the camel. Kill the camel. We don't care about the camel. Oh, come on, take him down. Nice, he's dead, he's dead. Good job. And his camel is making horse noises, but it's okay. It's okay. We, we can deal with that. We can deal with that fine, hopefully. Good job, lads. Good job. And we have won. We have won, and our pilgrims are speaking in strange languages, but it's fine. Salute and burn it. Plunder and then raid, raise the village. Let's do this. They don't deserve a place in our area, you know? This is our territory. Go away. You have no friends. We're going to take these guys down. If any of you guys are interested in downloading this mod... Ah, ha, ha, ha. 201. Ooh. Take the field. Let's do it. Right, lads. This is our last stand. Do your best. But this is an epic end to this first impressions of this. <laughs> okay, this this path is not a good idea for, yeah, for horses. You guys, just come over here. I'll split you guys off. That would be nice. This is going to be an epic end to the video. Here we go. My lance is broken. How, ha, your weapon broke. This cannot be repaired until the end of the battle. Oh, dear. I mean, we're doing okay. We're getting a lot of kills. If I can just lure these guys away from my men... So we can get as many kills as possible. We can always win against greater odds, even though we've just lost a dude, which is not good. Please, stop losing people. Guys, don't get surrounded. You have to keep moving if you're on a horse. That's the whole point of being on a horse, otherwise... No. <laughs> They're all dying. They're all dying. Come on. The last stand, lads. Ah, I've been shot. The last stand. Come on, armed pilgrims. Do your best. Nice. Sliced him in the face. This is an epic last stand here. We are getting slaughtered, but at least we have got a fair number of kills, actually. Which is nice. Come on, take them down. Uh, here we go, here we go. Nice. Sliced him in the back. Coming round. Okay, that's where friendlies are. I don't want to get involved in that. I don't want to get stuck there. They're trying to flank. They're trying to flank. Stop the flanking. Oh, my God. No. Take them all down. Oh, dear. We, we, uh, we have definitely lost this battle, but I think it was a, a, an epic last stand, if you ask me. Look at that right in the groin. Oh, I'm loving this mod right now. I am loving the mod. The sounds, the atmosphere, the dust kicked up by the horses, the music. It is absolutely epic. I am getting absolutely shot to death. I think I'm the last guy, actually. So, how are we done? Um, we we killed, like, 32 of their guys. So, we've killed more of them than they have of us, which is nice. Right. You know what? It's time for a last stand, boys. A last stand. Uh, last stand Last stand Put our helmet on Get in the last stand uh, <laughs> We could do it Oh you really can't see anything in this mode Jesus Christ Is this the end Is this the end <coughs> 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 
<laughs> so that is Sands of Faith, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you thought it looked like a cool mod, go download it. There'll be a link in the description. I really recommend it. Um, I did do a Let's Play. If you guys want to see that, go back to my old videos. And I did a mini Let's Play. I did stop it because it kept deleting my save. So I was like, I just gave up in the end. But it's a really good mod. It's really well fleshed out now, actually. I see they have changed a lot in it. And I really like that. That it's completely changed. And the mod developer is still working on it. So props to you. And... Other than that, that's going to be the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. If you didn't dislike it, subscribe to the channel for more content on Mountain Blade Warband and Bannerlord and other games of the genre. But until then, I will see you in the next one.